the wind has been bad for about four days. Strong gusts Tuesday, helping the Kruger rock fire grow and forcing people to find a place inside, away from the wind and flames. There wasn't a whole lot of warning. It was just uh, right there. Pete Vanderveen is used to evacuations after 21 years of living in the mountains. It was a little old hat. I hate to put it that way, but I guess because we've lived there as long as we have. This time feels a little different. This is the closest. He's hoping to go home from the evacuation center tonight. You just sit around and wait. Pete isn't alone. The mandatory evacuation list has grown throughout the day for people nearby. And birds, I brought my little sunshine. Jean Welch lives where the flames are spreading. You know, we're pretty far from the fire, but it's going in that direction. She packed what was most important. And this morning, they just said, be ready. And it wasn't mandatory, but then the sheriff drove by, and so thank goodness we were ready. Besides a companion, she also has a guardian to keep her safe when things are out of her control. My husband's been gone 21 years, and he still is right here just going, well, do what you have to do. So.